Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on student management system. Let us begin. Let us now first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can choose any ID of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. This is my main method. I am creating an object of student class. This is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on Swing UI designer and then GUI form. Two files will get created for uh, one for designing the interface and another for the code. Okay, let's uh, first see the, our interface. These are the text fields. These are the J labels added from the panel over here. And these are the buttons. And uh, I have named this panel as student panel. This is my table. Add your table under the scroll pane. Okay, let's move to the code. All the fields that I have uh, marked here for this, let's say, uh, enrollment number. First text field is ID data. I have named it as ID data. This has name data. So uh, all the data fields will be added here automatically and uh, then you need to add the object of jframe okay this is my constructor these are the lines which you will require so that the panel gets uh, available whenever you create the object of students class okay i have set the size the the width as 600 and height as 500 and this uh, i am calling this method table data to display the data into the table Okay, these buttons are there, so you need to add the listener of it. So you can add, go over here and add the listener. This is my add button. So this is the functionality. First, I am checking if all the fields are null or not. If they are null, then this message will pop up. Please fill all the fields to add record. If they are not, then this is the query which I am passing. Uh, I am working with uh, prepared statement so this is the syntax of it okay uh, syntax in the query so build the connection then call this prepared statement method and uh, pass your query and then finally uh, this set integer uh, method is for setting the integer value and uh, this is for setting the string value and this uh, first into pass the index number which place you need to update it and then the data what data you need to update uh, okay so i am receiving the id uh, enrollment number in the first text field which is id data so i am receiving it and uh, it's of type integer so i am converting it into integer similarly uh, passing all the fields respectively and then uh, at the last field, I am adding the percentage sign in the da uh, data. So in attendance text field, uh, you will write as 50, but the data will be stored as 50%. Okay. And then after that, uh, finally uh, popping the message item added successfully and setting all the text fields to null and catching the error if there is any and popping the message. Uh, message of error into the uh, j option pane and then uh, calling the method table data to update the data into the table and then uh, this is the uh, listener for the update button similarly add the query build the connection and uh, run your query through this prepared statement method and then finally popping the message update it successfully catching the error if there is any it will be uh, you will get this error in the console you can also do this way so that your user gets the error okay this is my listener so uh, whenever you click on the table any selected row so the row are num the rows are numbered as 1 2 3 respectively and the columns are 0 1 2 3 respectively and uh, then uh, I'm just getting the model table dot get model and uh, converting it into ta default table model type storing it in DM 
and the row in the form of uh, integer so calling this method get selected row okay so what i want to do is uh, set the data which is stored in the table to the uh, text fields okay so id data is stored in the first column so uh, it's numbered as zero and the selected row will get the the number and it will be uh, the data will be retrieved and converted into string and then uh, set the text to id data similarly to name data and uh, attendance data okay this is uh, this line you will understand when i will run the program okay i'm using the split method to split the data uh, like the, if it's 50 percent so only 50 uh, will be retrieved to uh, the attendance data text field okay this is my method table data i am running this query select all from student this is the table name building the connection and storing the result of query in the result set so and then uh, finally calling the set model method and passing this uh, this is the method which i have created on my own but uh, instead of this you uh, you can do is uh, uh, use the dbutils dot uh, uh, result set to table model method and pass your result set to it uh, there was some error so i have uh, used this method this is the same method that is there in the dbutils class okay this is it let's run our program okay so uh, enrollment number let's say two name is uh, aman class sixth subject uh, all and attendance is let's say 62 not 62 let's say 85 okay add record okay this gets added i have uh, written 85 over here but the details are added as 85 percent so whenever i click on any row particular row okay i am receiving the data as 85 not 85 percent okay i can uh, uh, update it also okay okay it gets updated Okay, this is it. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.